So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create an avatar with a website called Piskel. So if you just look up P-I-S-K-E-L, you'll come to this. And what you want to do is scroll down and see the Create a Sprite button. We're going to be creating this avatar with pixels, P-I-X-E-E-L. And that is what everything on a screen is made up. So when you're looking at a computer screen or your screen on a phone or an iPad or whatever, any digital screen is made up of pixels. And in this particular case, if you were to count all the pixels across, there would be 32. 32 across and 32 up and down. And that's how screens are measured. So you could have something that's 800 by 600 or 1200 by 800. Um, that's how many pixels make up that picture. So let me just show you how to use this tool. Now the first thing is Command Z is always your friend if you want to undo something. For this particular assignment, I need you to have a solid background. So I'm going to use the paint bucket and I'm just going to drop black on it, but you could choose another color. So let's see how you do that. To change colors, you click on the black and you can scroll down to another color and then move this up and you'll see that the color changes here. And now you could have changed it to blue. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so as you saw before, there's a pen tool that just lets you draw um, pixels. There's the paint bucket tool that lets you dump paint in. There's also tools to let you create shapes like a square or a rectangle or a circle, such as it is with uh, pixels. And finally, one of the tools I like the best is this vertical mirror. So I'm going to take these other, oh, I'll just do it over here. I pick a different color. All right, and it will mirror what you are doing like that. Um, that's kind of a cool effect. Now, the other thing about this tool that you can do is you can create um, an animated GIF. If you wanted to start with something you created here, you can duplicate the frame and this just make some adjustments to it. So let's say I add colors there and then I choose a different color add it there duplicate it again here and here and you can see over here now I have this animation now as an avatar it's not really great but um, this gets you the idea I obviously want you to spend a little more time um, thinking about your avatar what kind of um, things represent you if I were to go back and do this again, and I can uh, use a trash can to delete things I don't want anymore, um, I can start a new one. And my avatar almost always is, let's see if you can see the shape taking form. A butterfly. All right, so I'm going to make a very simple butterfly. Okay, once I have an avatar that I like, then there's two other things we need to do. One is to change the size. So if we save this right now, remember we said this was 32 pixels across and 32 pixels up and down. Well, that is actually a pretty tiny thing on my screen. So that, um, that would probably show up as small as that. And for our purposes, we need it a little bit bigger. So we're going to go to this button, the resize button. And I'd like to change this to 600 by 600. Make sure height and width, width and height is 600. And then please make sure both of these are selected. If you do resize canvas, Without that checked, it's actually going to put the butterfly very small up here. We don't want that. We want the whole image to expand. So we want both of those selected. So it won't look much different on your screen when you select resize. But in fact, it is now 600 by 600. And then we need to export it. Um, if you created a uh, an animation, um, then you're going to want to save it both as a GIF, download as an animated GIF and as a PNG. Uh, we definitely want to make sure we have that PNG. So I'm going to click download the PNG and if I look at it now you should see that I have an image that's 
the right size for what we're using. So that's what I want you to do. Uh, create an avatar, spend some time thinking about um, a digital representation of yourself, and um, take a little bit more care with it than I did, and then go ahead and um, resize it and download it. All right, good luck.